guys, it's Keith with Arkhamburg Farms. It's about the first week of April, 2020. It's about 60, 70 degrees out here or so. But it is just windy as heck, and it's going to be that way for a while. So what I'm doing today is putting up this wind fence along here. Let me show you how I do that. up a wind fence pretty simple just using the uh, green safety construction snow fence type stuff it's called all sorts of different things four foot tall hundred foot long drove T post and then I use lath and zip ties to secure it already got the first section up as you can see Stretch all the way across. Come over here to the less windy side. From here, windy. Come down here, not so windy. Now I'm at where my gate's gonna be. It's my last post on my first run. Drove, piece of pipe in the ground. It's a piece of top rail, I think. Big enough to fit my piece of half inch EMT conduit into. From here, made a mark how far it goes down the hole, and then I zip tied in three spots just to the end. And then next I'm going to roll it over twice, and then I'll zip tie it along its length in three or four spots. Okay, just realized I said three or four. I actually meant five. So I rolled it over twice and then zip tied it where all the bands come together, the vertical banding on it, like this, and did that all the way down. Now I'll be able to unroll my fence and get it stretched out. But first, you gotta set post. For my post, I'm using six foot T post, driving them in the ground and leaving. From bottom to top, four foot, five inches. The reason I'm doing that is so I have a space down at the bottom that'll be about four or five inches. Now that way, I can easily mow underneath it because I have room underneath the bottom of the fence. Now I'll start pulling my fence. I drop the end post into the one I drove into the ground. Come up to the top. See if I can do this without shaking around too much. And I want to be able to attach it over to here. So to do that, I got a piece of copper wire. Go about to the center. Wrap it around once. Then bring it back over. And then I'll twist the two together. That way I'll have a handle I can just bring over the top and then pull the whole thing out and then when I'm done I can close it by wrapping back around. Alright, and there we go. Wrapped around the post and then I can go on and off to lock it on the post. That way I can get in and out of my gate. Now to roll it out and get ready to start stretching it in this crazy wind.
with a hundred foot roll. So I started at the gate, which is right there. And then I went down past my field block. So both of these are on both sides of the field block. And then every 15 foot afterwards, I drove a post. I left the last one off clear at the end because I'm going to let it run wild because I don't know where I'm going to end up at. But when I do, I'll drive that last post. One good thing to know is don't try to do this when it's this windy outside. It just makes for a pain. You're fighting the wind. Everything's blowing away on you. Do it before the wind. Then you don't have to worry about when you have wind instead of like I do things. Now I went ahead and set the actual first post on the run. It's going to continue to run down this way. But from here over is going to be my gate. So anytime I start a run or end a run, one on the top, one on the bottom, middle, and then two in between. So now I'm going to take my gate open. That way it'll take the tension off of this section and then I can start to pull off this pole and work my way all the way down. Now to install the wind fence, I'm using ordinary lath, four foot length. Bought it from the uh, lumber store. You can also make it yourself. It's just quicker this way. And then I'm using eight inch UV weather resistant zip ties. To start out, I'll start with the top. It's always easiest to work from the back. Pull it up so I have clearance from the ground. And pull it tight as you can get it in the wind. Place your lap. Now do one zip tie on the top to start. sure to cinch it down tight. Go to the bottom. Do the same. Cinch it down tight again. Intermediate post, I only do four. Top, bottom, and then two in the middle. we go. Again, it's a lot easier to do this when it's not windy and it helps to have two other people, but I usually just work alone. I made it down to my last post. 
I got my extra over here, which is who knows how long, but I stretch it out and that's about where the last post is gonna be at. As you can see, I put it at an angle, so it's leaning outwards. That way when the wind blows on and tensions it, it'll go back up straight. And I'll wrap it around twice and zip tie with five, top, bottom, middle, and then two in between those. And I'll be complete with the fence. All right, got her done. All the way down to the last post. Just a reminder for everybody out there, including myself, don't do this when it's windy. That was a pain in the butt. It only took me about an hour and a half to run 100 feet worth, but I could have done that in probably 30 or 40 minutes. Harder on your hands, very frustrating, constantly pulling on you. Just don't do it, or at least get somebody else to help you. Well, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the uh, Mother Earth News Fair. The one in Tennessee has been canceled. Um, looks like we're going as scheduled on the one at Polyface right now. Uh, if you'd like to get your tickets at a discount, you can uh, get them below in the show notes. I've got a 10% discount with the coupon code in the show notes. Uh, just a reminder, that's also how we get paid for the show. So we go there and speak for free and get money from the ticket sales. So, well, hope you all like what you saw here today. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all. Have a good day.